Good evening, everyone. A couple weeks back, I got a message from a well-known YouTuber, and he said he, he asked me if I minded, and he said he was going to tag me in a Dutch oven cooking video. Well, I more than happy accepted. I don't mind tag. That's what keeps YouTube fun. Keeps interactive and keeps things fun. And I don't mind being tagged. Well, last week my wife and I, we, we, we made a video. Well, when I got done with the two of us, it was extremely long. I didn't care for the intro that I did after I watched it a couple times. I said it wasn't good. So I'm going to redo the intro. I'm going to show clips of it because it's just too long, but there's some clips that are good. One of them I made a movie out with her talking about that cookbook she found. And she's kind of new on YouTube. She's not real comfortable. Uh, some of us just aren't smart enough to be uncomfortable. We go out making an ass out of ourselves all the time. Doesn't really bother me at all. I do it every day. Doesn't faze me a bit. Well, anyway, I'm going to use my little camp chef Dutch oven. I have a lodge and an Ozark trail. And then I have some old ones that I don't know the name. A couple of them I don't use because I think they were used for somebody to drain the oil out of their car in. Well, I put a little oil in the bottom. And uh, I want to thank Chris once again for tagging me. It's the only thing with this, I don't have a lot of room in it. I've actually got a couple little zucchini frying. And my fire's not cooperating with what I like to work with here. I'll have to set that there because the pan's getting really hot. Um, I'm going to shut you down, get the sausage cut up, get the zucchini cut up in here, and some onion. Then we'll put it back on. I'll show you what it looks like. We'll talk a little bit more. But I'm going to try to hold the link down. Okay. Got the onion, the zucchini, and the sausage cut up. Salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil in. I didn't preheat it, I know I should. I probably I may set it on there for a minute and let it warm up with the stuff in it. I know you preheat your oven, I'm well aware of that. But my fire is not cooperating down with coals, so I'm gonna put a little different to get started here. We'll set it on here, let things warm up a little bit while the fire is burning down. What I've done. I actually dug a little hole side of it and I'm gonna dig my fire out and put a little fire in that hole and then put some coals on top of it. Well, we'll shut you off for a few. Oh, no. There. See, I told you I'd, I put some coals under it, put a few on the top. Keep an eye on it there. It, it's pretty warm. You don't want to latch onto it right now. And I got a couple steaks and a little cast iron frying pan cooking. And when this stuff gets around a little more, we'll come back. Okay, we're going to take a look here. Get steak there one more time. That's coming along nicely. I got another one to do after that one. And, uh, oh yeah, that's... Oh yeah, these zucchinis, nice and tender. Squash are... I'd say it's done. warm on the finger down there. I'd say that's done. Um, I think I'll let it go a few more minutes because there's plenty of juice. It's not going to cook down. Um, that looks done too. There's small pieces of steak. I cut one up the other night and I trimmed off some of the fat places because some people are offended if there's, oh yeah, that's they're done. I'm not one for crying forever. We'll give that steak another moment. The other stuff, the vegetables. And then we'll see how they do. Nice and 
tender and soft. That's the way I like vegetables. Sausage. Bacon works good. Regular sausage. I had this, so I cut this up. Breakfast sausage works good. Oh, plain hot. Mmm. There's one problem with that Dutch oven, it's too small, but it's fun. It's not bad single serving size, but it's too small. You can't get enough in there. Why well, over here? Try a bite of that steak. I was cutting some up the other night. And people we're barbecuing with don't care for fat, so I kind of Trimmed the ends off and kept them. I'm gonna throw it away. Very good. Okay. I'm gonna ask three people if they'd like to do a video. Feel free if you have a Dutch oven. If you don't, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's all in fun. Wallace Vivian up there in Big Land in uh, Newfoundland, the Wild North. If you'd like to do a video, we'd love to have you. Um, bluegrass bushcraft. I'll send you a message so you get it. I know you don't watch a lot, that you're busy. I know a lot of people are. And I want to say Zen the Eskimo. He's over in New Hampshire. He's a new sub. He doesn't have a lot of subscribers. I'm going to upload the video, then I have to go back and post the links. Because if I try to do it the way our internet is screwy here, it'll just jam up and it won't hold. I'll post a link to his channel and I will write his correct name in if I did it wrong. He's over in New Hampshire. He started out. He subbed me a couple weeks ago. I've watched some of his videos. Good stuff. And then if you got a Dutch oven, that's fine. you got a cast iron frying pan. Hell, if you got an old pot with a cover on it, we'd like to see what you got to make. Go ahead and do us a video. I actually started by Dark Side, and I'm going to post a link to his channel. I'll post a link to Caroline Chris, but he doesn't need any introduction. Everybody knows him. He's that fancy rebel out of the South. Thank you, Chris, for asking me. It's a privilege to do it. You know, and anybody else, come on. Grab your Dutch oven, grab your cast iron skillet, cook us something. We all like to watch people cook. It never gets boring. Thanks for watching, and I may throw on oh, it's warm. some video clips from the one my wife and I did, but it was just too long. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.